Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That shit is awesome. Hey guys, time for another Naruto manga review. And holy fuck, I was jizzing over the QB armor there. That is like the most amazing thing I've ever fucking seen in my life. Next to the first time I got laid. That was pretty awesome too. <laughs> but anyway, um, there is one thing though. Did any of you guys notice in that last frame on page 4 I believe it was? The, when the QB and the Susano like joined together, there was no definitive line between where the QB's face was and where the Susano started. So it looked like the QB had just grown a massive horn. That shit was fucking weird, but still fucking awesome. Okay, so this chapter is literally the battle of the gods, and I believe this is going to go down as the best fight in the manga so far, and will probably only be surpassed by Naruto vs Sasuke. I found it a little weird how Hashirama, aka Hash Browns, was giving Madara praise on being smart, although it was totally awesome when old Hash Browns predicted Madara's move and grabbed the blade with his giant wood hands and then all the mountains around just got slashed in half. I mean, come on, I wasn't the only one thinking that was cool, right? And so Hash Brown starts running for fear of destroying the area, which was curious to me because, because of what Madara said. He said, is running around all you can do, Hashidama? Which made me think, has Hash Browns ran away in the past? And so Madara follows up with yet another epic move. He starts doing a biju bomb, but then he puts this his Susano blade within the bomb and launches it at Hashidama. And Hashidama is forced to count counter it by summoning the Tripu Rashomon. I was like, oh shit, Aruchimaru, you sly fuck you. Like, he's just gone around stealing everybody's stuff, like... And it made me think, maybe that is how he got his hands on the DNA of Hashirama in the first place. And so the Biju blade gets deflected and it bounces across the water and reach the other side of the, reaches the other side of the shore. Which I found quite symbolic, but I'm not sure if a lot of people caught on to what that was about. And I'll, I'll mention how it was symbolic at the end of this review. And so Hashirama is talking about how Mata is throwing away all the efforts just for this fight, and how it's an insult to their brothers. And man, Madara does not take hearing Hashirama mention his brother fucking well. I mean, Hashirama, I mean, Mata is just like, shut the fuck, Arr! he's ready to rage. But Hashirama does mention he doesn't want to kill them, and he thought they were friends. Which, again, I'll mention my thoughts on this later in the review. But fuck! Is he... Is that sage mode? I can't fucking tell. I'm so sure that's sage mode. Am I crazy? Not to mention, this is fully deja vu. I mean, it's essentially the Naruto vs Sasuke fight on crack. And then Hashirama, aka Hash Browns, summons a giant badass statue of like a thousand hands, which totally made me think of that monk dude. Um, his best attack, the filler one that was Asuma's friend, and in Asuma's little group thingy, my bob. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> and then just as it's getting so intense that my face is gonna like fucking explode all over the walls, it, it slides back into another flashback within a flashback about Madara and Hashirama as kids. And then, <laughs> first off, I found little Maddie so cute. Isn't he just like, or aren't they just like little Sasuke and Naruto all over again? And so Madara is trying to throw rocks to the other side, but is unable to. But Hashidama is able to pull it off. And this is how I figured that Biju blade bouncing across the water is quite symbolic. That Madara was Hashidama's rival and always wanted to beat him, but never could. And the blade finally reaching the other side was sort of, you know... It, it kind of confirms, or not confirms, but it makes Madara believe he has finally surpassed Hashirama. But yeah, talking about how Hashirama thought that they were friends is quite a weird concept, because, you know, I had the idea they were rivals, and that they respected each other to a varying degree. But to say friends is so weird, because before they had formed this alliance of the Leaf, they had fought constantly then too. So, had they become friends as children, and then, you know, this ninja world had kind of twisted them to fight each other, but they really, 
they didn't want it or something along those lines. It's just weird. I want to see this further explained. But, you know, you can really feel the kind of Narusasu vibes coming off this. Like, it's essentially just we're glimpsing into the future to potentially see what the Naruto Sasuke fight is going to be like. And maybe what will happen if Naruto fails, which ultimately I don't think he will. And if he fails, at least give us Naruhina, please. You can kill Sasuke, give us Naruhina. If you don't kill, if you don't give us Naruhina, I'm sad. But if you don't give us Naruhina, you have to give us, you know, some redemption of Sasuke, I think. And then, while reading this, another thought crossed my mind. Madara hadn't wanted his brother to die. The whole Madara's, uh, Madara's brother's death, Zuna. Madara didn't, like, he loved his brother. Why would he kill him? I don't think that's the truth, and something's weird about that. But then that sparked an idea. How did Izuna and Madara get their Monga Kido shouting guns? Because it's shown that both Madara and, or actually it hasn't shown Izuna, but it's shown that Madara has been capable of great love and kindness because it's that love and kindness that has twisted him to be like he is now. Which means, how was he able to kill his best friend to get the Monga Kido? And why wasn't that person he had to kill his brother? I mean, that's what I would assume. I think that's what other people would assume if they gave it a little bit of thought. I just found it weird, and it was... I think that needs to be covered too, because the way it was described, it was just like... It was Mada Uchiha, and he killed his best friend, and then stole his brother's eyes, and that's the end fucking weird but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this chapter i fucking did i hope you all have a great day and a great week i wish you all the best peace